Hey everyone, I'm back with a project share today. Um, this is one of my uh, design team projects for um, Adorn It and Diana Markham uh, Designs. Uh, this is the stamp for the monthly club kit for the month of June, I believe. Yeah, even though it's July. Um, this is from the June subscription, if you had signed up um, in June. Um, or before that, I guess May would have been the other thing. If you had signed up for the subscription, you would have gotten this stamp. Um, so they will have um, a la carte uh, stamps available, but they won't be for sale until they actually have them um, in their hands um, since the manufacturer delay. So this is the stamp I use. It's a recipe for honey bun cake. And I used the little bees here and little trails as well. Now, if you haven't seen the add-on stamp so if you're interested in the add-on stamp this is it i've used this one in a project already that's why it's so dark it's offset from where it should be and i didn't clean it as well as i did that last one because this one i did use so you can tell how well it got cleaned but anyway um i used both of these well no i used this um honey bun cake um and let me show you what else i used for my project um some of this twine I got from Marshalls a long time back. Um, this is hemp twine, and I used the yellow because, you know, bees and honey. Um, and I did use my crocodile. This is a corner rounder, um, the quarter-inch side. Here's some Copics that I use for coloring. These are the colors I use to color the um, entire stamp and um, image. So these colors right here, and just pause the video if you want to, to see all the colors. And then I use, um, of course, my two different um, colorless blenders. Now, the reason I have two is because one of them has a bullet tip on it, and the other one has the regular brush tip. So there are different tips on, on both of these. Um, and then my Spectrum glitter pen. This is just glitter, no color and my glaze pen, and I use some of this yellow-ish, excuse the glue on my hands, um, English Mustard Crystal Drops Gloss. So this will stay peaked, but I just use this for flower centers. You can barely see it. Um, and what else? Oh, the paper. The paper that I use this time um, is this strip here. Well, it was a six by six. This is from the Barbecue collection from Doodlebug. So I use this and I also use some of their petite prints. This one happens to be a stripe one. Um, what color is this? Bumblebee dot stripe. So there's stripes on one side and then um, dots on the other, but I also used a similar, very similar sheet to this, but you'll see it's because it's in my page. Oh, I found something else I used. Um, these little clay pieces, I use one of the white flowers you see there. Um, so I use that. And here is my project. This is in my recipe um, book that I'm, I'm building. Um, so as I color up the recipe stamps from Diana that she's illustrated, they are going into this recipe book, unless they're on a card. So this is a page from my recipe book that I created. You can see the little Swiss dot pattern. Um, there's that little sunshiny paper that goes so well with my image. So there's the um, B-Skep with the uh, recipe in there. I used my Copics to color the image. There is a little bit of color pencil in here just to add some details into the grass. And let's see if I can bring it closer. You can see I stamped the bees on the top part of the image. These bees are actually in the image. And there's my button. It's a vintage uh, button that I have for my stash. And I, there's the twine and the little clay flower that I glued there. I use um, like a regular, I'm sorry, not regular glue, but um, not a fabric glue either. It, you can bond metal or glass with it, so it stays pretty well. Um, and I again, I don't want to make these pages too... Um, dimensional because the book is is growing so this is another addition to my 
recipe book and it's actually at the end of the book because my sweet section it, um it's in my sweet section so this is the front page of the recipe um page and then on the back is uh, another folder and what i did was um or pocket i'm sh i'm sorry pockets constructed from that same piece of paper um there's a little recipe um card right here and then I added a bee and a flower and these are rub-ons these rub-ons came from Joann's from this Park Lane collection so I bought several of these I, I don't think I even shared that haul yet but there's a bee in it as well as this flower and that's what's on these two things I'm uh, toying with adding another bee onto the bottom of the page but we'll see um, so this one uh, right now is the last page in the book because it is uh, the most recent recipe that I colored up that goes in the dessert dessert section so um, bring it a little closer I love the way this turned out oh and there's the glaze pen is on here too so if I hold it to the light you can kind of see the flash of shiny glaze on the bees because that's where I used it on in on their trails um, so yeah I really had fun coloring this one up um, to make it look a little bit bigger, you know, you have to put it on uh, larger pieces of paper because the image, um, this image actually could fit on the front of an A2 size card, the, the size right here. Um, but I chose not to do a card this time because I wanted to put it in my recipe book. So if you look at the page before, that's I've already shown this in another video. There is a playlist on my YouTube channel if you're interested in seeing how I started to create this book, what I put into it. Um, and um, some of the other pages that I've made. So the book itself um, is progressing. I think, let's see if I can measure it. It is about an inch wide now. So I do have room for growth because the way the rings are designed, you know, this could lift up to about here. Um, that's probably another quarter inch to a half inch maybe. Um, so I have still plenty of space to add more recipes in. This is the front of the book and you've seen this stamp before because I showed this in a video when I showed you the cover of my book. So anyway, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be back to share some more. I hope talk to you soon. Bye for now.